Hello, everyone. Thanks for warming me up. I'm the last act. Today, my name is Jess Klein. Um, my day job, I'm the um, creative lead of the Mozilla Open Badges project. But what I'm here to talk to you today about is something that is a side project that I've been working on on nights and weekends. About a year and a half ago, Hurricane Sandy came and it hit my hometown of Rockaway Beach, New York. Hurricane Sandy was the uh, superstorm and it was the deadliest storm of 2012 and was the second most costly storm in US history. The night of the storm, I had lost contact with my parents and like everyone else, I was freaking out. And I went to Twitter, like I always do. And I tried to reach anybody I could who could give me any, where, any thoughts about the whereabouts of my parents. Here I contacted Phil Goldfeder, who's our local assemblyman, thinking he might go to my parents' door or something. Um, <laughs> But it wasn't enough. Then I connected with other people who were also looking for their parents and their families in Rockaway, and we created a Facebook group where we were crowdsourcing this information. And we were so inspired, and we knew it wasn't enough. So we made a call to action, and we asked, maybe some volunteers will come and help us demuck and unplug and unflood our community. And then the next day, 1,000 people showed up in front of our house, which was kind of exciting, but also terrifying. And so we worked together with groups who knew what they were doing, like Team Rubicon, the military vets. And immediately we had this problem. We couldn't figure out how to match make people who had skills with the problems that needed to be solved. And so I did what I always do. Even in times after um, the Red Cross and FEMA had left, we had to really deal with rebuilding. And so what we did is really worked with community. We held a hack jam, and we really started to figure out with the community how we could solve this problem in a practical way. And so we came to the solution after nine months of kind of prototyping that badges were the, were the answer. If people had come to, on the night of the storm, you know, the next day, those thousand people, if they came with badges that represented the skills that they already had, we would have been able to get to people faster. We would have been able to help people a lot faster. And so I went to work trying to figure out how to make a badge system. And what I quickly realized is that there are certain, our current method for sort of disseminating badges really made no sense because we were doing it by an email claim code, which during an emergency was ridiculous. We, people had no access to their phones. They lost their battery life very fast. So I had to create um, SMS badges. And the way we did this is really starting to rethink the entire user flow. SMS badges made sense because you don't have to use too much bandwidth for yourself and your computer. <laughs> so I'm leveraging the APIs that are, um, we've been working on for badge kit, which there's a cat image here, but I'm sorry, it's disappeared. Um, <laughs> so we're leveraging those APIs so that people can really easily design, issue, and assess badges. And I'm working with groups like Geeks Without Bounds and Occupy Sandy to really come together and create a common terminology and taxonomy so that people can really understand the skills that people are coming to a situation with in your community. But we're not building the whole system. We're just building badges on top of existing systems so that if you had the WordPress site or you had a dashboard where people were trying to organize information, that's great. You don't have to build something new as a grassroots organization. You could just add on the data of the individual skill sets so you can do that matchmaking. And so I'm trying to pair that with this SMS system. And I'm working on a prototype right now that really is going to help us to have a better sense of what the collective skill set is for people in your own community. That combined with the fact that you can push your badges to your backpack and eventually export that information in a way that makes sense in low fidelity ways. So you don't necessarily need an internet connection. You can show people in real time, here's my badge, here's my skill, this is who I am. I'm working right now with New York C NYC Prepared to create badges that NYC prepared to prototype this. We're, and when I say prototype, it's going to be prototyping with a pretty large city. But we still have a lot of people who are volunteering. And it's not a city, it's not something that's unique to New York. This is something that happens everywhere. And I kind of feel like anybody who has a community or has a mentorship program can really use a sort of matchmaking system so that you can really respond to the challenge. And I challenge you. I challenge you to think about, how are you going to hack your community? I'm hacking mine with badges.
And you can learn more about my project by going to this website that I created just for DML called aidbadges.org. I guess you could say I'm releasing it. Thanks for listening. I'm over. <laughs>